So Professor Liu is going to teach you chapter four. Chapter four is you are going to start to read input from user. So when you read from input from user, first you need to understand what's a data type and what's a mathematic methods right here. So let's open it up right now. All right. So Java has a primitive data type. This is called primitive data type. That means it's already been there. Now we're going to create our own data type. You know, we create a bunch of all the class. Every class you cl create, that's a data type. All right, I need you to remember integer is four bytes. Okay, and double is eight bytes. All right, and uh, flow is four bytes. Char is two bytes. I need you to remember that. Okay, then we need to learn this right now. In Java, const variable is don't call const. It's called final. There's a reason for that. Even in the programming world, there's a marketing competition. So Visual Studio, C++, they come out first. It's a, it's a legendary program. They come out first. So they use the most, uh, you know, a familiar term to name it. Const should call const, all right? Because that uh, variable is const. But <clears throat> Java was developed after 1985, all right? So it's a newer type language. So they lost the opportunity to use const uh, variable. It, it, it has a copyright, all right? So they have to use final. So as a programmer, you just need to remember that. All right, and um, so final variable is const in our language in Java. Okay, once the value being set, it cannot be changed. All right, so name const make program easier to read and maintain because once you do that, then you only need to change a variable. All right, and easy to recognize. All right, convention. Convention is recommendation. Okay, you want to be a programmer, you follow the same way we do it. Convention means recommendation. Use all upper case name for const. Look here, quarter value. But remember, two words put together, we used to use camel style. We can now, because uh, how do you do camel style with two that two words? They are all upper upper case so what you do is use underscore quarter value once it's a final you must provide value you cannot say final double and don't give value that doesn't make sense right so time value 0 0.1 all right so payment equal dollar you know so quarter value you know uh, dime value so variable name is a little bit more make even longer but easy to make programmer or other programmer to understand all right we learned something called static final so your java has so many methods your your class has different method so if a constant value are needed in several methods. It's not only one, several methods. So if you do that, that method has to be static method. All right, static means it keep the value. So in this method, the value is changed. In that method, I know it. Do you understand? Because uh, we are all connected. Think static is connected. So we are all connected. So you change in uh, Whittier, uh, in, in, a, in a uh, Bank of America has so many different uh, location. Uh, some variable is static variable, means, all right, if the headquarter change it, Whittier knows it too. Uh, Whittier branch knows it too. And, uh, you know, and uh, Pico Rivera knows it too. Do you understand? All right, so 
So several methods all need to know it, and interest rate need to know that blah blah blah, and you need to go study. Final means a is a const variable, so we put this e. E and pi we use very often anyway, so that's a uh, public, and we do we we declare as public. There's no danger, right here. Sometimes is there's a danger. Uh, to create as public variable. It, once you are public variable, it's not a secret. It's open to every method, every class in this project. So, as we told you, when everybody knows it, there's no secret right now. So who, who, you put, you gave everybody an opportunity to screw yourself because they can rewrite it. But Constant variable, no problem, because you are not allowed to modify. If you are going to modify the program, to prevent you anyway. Okay. Next, we're going to learn some arithmetic. When you do the arithmetic, is basic like um, mathematics. You learn it from first grade. The only thing is we use different sign. Times is asterisk. Divide is slash. It's okay. Then we are going to learn something else. Increment. Item equal item plus one. That's the statement on your program. It will uh, require you go to your RAM to retrieve item once and second times. So instead of that, we use item plus plus. Item equal item minus one. We use item minus minus. So this is simply turn because this one I only call variable once. Don't forget when you call variable, your your uh, program has to go to your uh, RAM to retrieve value. Okay. Now we're going to learn something else. Slash. Okay. Division. All right. So right here, division is a uh, uh, is a division operator. Okay. Pay attention right here. A tricky here. So right here, if both are integer, both are integer, the result will be integer. So the remainder will be discarded. So seven point zero that's a double. How do you know that? The once you put a point, the system automatically will declare that's a double. So seven point zero divide by four. As long as one is double and the rest of is double, so these will get decimal number one point seventy five. But if you slash, all right, seven no point four no point, that's an integer. So you get answer is one point seventy five will be discard discard discarded. Okay, it will be tossed away. What happen? We need to learn this. Is this seven mod by four? So let me show you how to do seven mod by four. Okay. So seven mod by four, we are going to do like this. Seven divide by four. One time, right? And four remainder is three. So. Seven mod by four is three, so mod mod is division, but we look for the remainder. Understand? Yes or no? Do you understand? All right. So Java, when you divide, but you look for remainder, we use modulus. What's the symbol for modulus? Can anyone tell me? What's the symbol for modulus? Can anyone tell me? Anybody? Percentage, percentage sign. Yes, percentage sign. It's okay. Very, very good. Thank you. All right. All right. Now we are going to continue right here. So when, yeah, that's a concept. But what you do that for? All right. Sometimes you know something can help you. For example, I have one hundred fifteen pennies. One hundred fifteen pennies. 
Uh, right away, you you can say that a dollar, a dime, and uh, a dollar, a dime, and uh, a a a nickel. Okay, we're just going to change that to cents. So how do you do that? If you do this, all right. So you do like this way. All right, so you do one hundred fifteen divide by one hundred. Remember, these are all integer. We told you that's integer. All right, so I'll be one. Is that right? And remainder is fifteen. So in order to get that one, I do division. But both are integer. Look here, penny is integer. A hundred is in. I didn't put a hundred dot, right? So you get a dollar. The remainder. So how do you get remainder? Penny mod by a hundred. So remainder is fifteen. So one dollar fifteen cents. So this is one opportunity to to use it. There are many opportunity to use because in our real life, a lot of time we need. Uh, integer numbers. Okay, you need round round up or truncate. For example, you park your car at LAX. You park forty five minutes is one hour. Okay, because the unit is by hours. Okay, do you understand this question? Do you understand this one? Yes or no? Everybody, all right, all right. So next, we're going to learn something, uh, mathematic matter in our uh Java. All right. So square root is s q r t, pi is x and y, and it's beautiful. We can use sine. They draw a beautiful thing. All right, sine, cosine, okay, and uh, tangent, rounded, ceiling to give you a largest number. All right, absolute value maxima is useful. Minimum is useful. Exponential is e to the here. And log, okay, mm, log base by ten. Floor, and we can even change to degree. All right, so from radius to degree, isn't that powerful? But in this class, I probably want to emphasize two things: is math squared. SQRT and the math of pow. So, if I do math of pow two to the third, that's two to the third power is eight. Math square sixteen is four. Okay, so these two you need to understand. All right. So next thing I also need you to remember is this right now. Sometimes we have to do the data conversion. Because we may have mistake here. For example, here, integer, integer, integer. All these, all these are integer. So I want the average is double. So I'm using integer plus integer plus integer. That's still integer. Divide by three. Three is integer. Integer divide by integer. You are going to get integer. We truncated. So answer will be seven. All right. So easy. Easy, easy way to modify this. The denominator put a point, three point zero. So that's a double. That's decimal number right now. All right. So and the other thing is you also need to remember order of operation. So this one is wrong. The reason is order of op operation is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So that's from your mathematics. Okay. So parentheses first, exponential second, multiple multiplication, mu multiplication and division. Next, add and subtract less. So these I will do the sub division first. So you must have parentheses. 
you must have parentheses. So it will add these two, three first, then divide. All right. So I finish. I finish uh, these uh, uh, introduction. Do you have any question? Yes or no?